probability of combined events, KSSN Mathematics Form 4, mutually exclusive events and non-mutually exclusive events, self-practice 9.3b, page 258 to 259. Question 1. Two fair dice are rolled simultaneously. Q is the event that the total point obtained from the two dice is greater than 9. R is the event that the product of the points obtained from the two dice is a multiple of 5. S is the event that the two equal points on the two dice are obtained. Modify the addition rule of probability for each of the following combined events by listing all the possible outcomes. Firstly, we list out all the possible outcomes for Q, R, and S. We can use Excel to list out all the possible outcomes for Q and R. greater than 9. So all the possible outcomes for Q is 4, 6, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. And then we use Excel to list out all the possible outcomes for R. multiple of 5 and all the possible outcome for S is 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and 6 6 the probability of Q or R for Q and R the Palman's elements are 5 5 5 6 and 6 5 Q or R is Q union R so, to list out Q union R, we copy all the elements from Q and copy all the elements from R except the common element 5, 5, 6, 5, and 5, 6. So, the probability of Q or R is the total elements of Q union R per the total sample space. 14 means there are 14 elements in Q union R. Total sample space means 6 times 6 because a fair dice has 6 numbers and the second fair dice also have 6 numbers so the probability is 7 per 18 addition rule of probability p q or r equals p q plus p r minus p q intersect r so p q is 6 per 36 because for q there are 6 elements for R there are 11 elements and for Q intersect R there are only 3 common elements so the probability is 7 per 18 both of them give 7 per 18 so the addition rule of probability is verified B probability of Q or S the common elements for Q and S is 5, 5 and 6, 6. Q or S is Q union S. So we copy all the elements in Q and also copy all the elements in S except the common element 5, 5 and 6, 6. So the probability is 5 per 18. Addition rule of probability. And the probability is also 5 per 18. So the addition rule of probability is verified. C. Probability of R or S. The common elements for R and S is 5, 5. R or S is R union S. The elements are, we copy all the elements in R and copy all elements in S. Except the common element 5 5. So
So the probability of R or S is 4 per 9. Addition rule of probability. And the probability also 4 per 9. So the addition rule of probability is modified. Number 2. Two fair coins are told simultaneously. J is the event of getting two tails. So it means TT. K is the event of getting two heads. So it means HH. And L is the event of getting at least one tail. So the element is HT, DH, and TT. Modify the addition rule of probability for each of flowing combined events by listing all the possible outcomes. A. Probability of J or K. J or K is J union K. So the element is TT and HH. So the probability of J or K is 1 per 2. Addition rule of probability. The probability is also 1 per 2. So the addition rule of probability is verified. B. The probability of J or L. The common elements for J and L is ET. J or L is J union L. The elements are TT, HD, and TH. So the probability of J or L is 3 per 4. Addition rule of probability. And the probability is also 3 per 4. So addition rule of probability is verified. C. Probability of K or L. K or L is K unit L. The elements are HH, HD, TH, and TT. The probability of K or L is 1. Addition rule of probability. And the probability is also 1. So addition rule of probability is verified. Number 3. Seven cards labeled with the letters Mahagia are put in the box. A card is chosen at random. L is the event of getting a vowel. So vowel is A-E-I-O-U. So from the Mahagia, the vowel are A-A-I-A. -A -A. M is the event of getting a consonant. So the elements are B-H-G. N is the event of getting a letter B. So the element is B. A. Draw a Venn diagram to present the relationship between the events L, M, and N. B. Verify the addition rule of probability for each of the following combined events by listing all the possible outcomes. Number 1. The probability of L or M. L or M is L unit M. The elements are B, A, H, A, G, I, A. So the probability of L or M is 1. Addition rule of probability. The probability is also 1. So the addition rule of probability is verified. The probability of L or N. L or N is L union N. The elements are A, A, I, A, B. So the probability of L or N is 5 per 7. Addition rule of probability. And the property is also 5 per 7. So the addition rule of probability is verified. The probability of M or N. Common elements for M and N is B. M or N is M union N. So the elements are B, H, and G. So the probability of M or N is 3 per 7. Addition rule of probability. And the probability is also 3 per 7. So addition rule of probability is verified.